first I thought the costume world would be a little bit hard when I was discovering all the fields in the fashion industry. I have two props here. Literally, they both are the original cast member from the Big Top Tour. Music, makeup, costumes, set, designs, all of that. I have to make sure that it's at its top quality every night. So every night everybody comes, they have a very, very good, good show. I started with the costume world back when I was studying fashion and design in university and I joined as a local team for the Alegria Cirque du Soleil show. And from there, I started to have more costume experiences. Then I joined temporarily for a couple of months, joining the tour. And then years later, I went through an interview and I joined as a permanent staff. So here in Corte, we have about 2,500 items of costumes and there's a lot of work involved. It takes about three hours and a half to put a show together, like starting from our morning routine of checking all costumes to see if we have repairs, make sure that everything is nice and fresh and also ironed and steamed for the show. Every day is something different to do. Of course, we have our routine, but we also have things to do. And no matter how much I know the costumes, I'm always learning from the costumes. You know, there's always something, a challenge to solve here and there. So it's what also motivates me to give everything I have every day uh, to make this show look beautiful. My job is to make sure all the props look good on stage and my job every day is to come to work and keep them uh, looking good, maintenance, touch up. When I was in school, I studied uh, applied art, majoring in props making. And then so after I graduated, I worked at home for one and a half year before I joined Surf. And then I joined them on a residential show in Macau in 2008. And after that, I've been touring around the world with them on different tours from arena tour I mean, to big top tours. We are currently at the upstage side of this tour uh, because of the stage design. We also have the downstage side. During the show we have to travel around 40 dollars from one side to the other side for our technician and artists to travel all from both sides. Helium balloons like horses, costume, instruments. We have so many different kind of props. Even we have chickens. As an artistic director, we follow the show, we, we tour with the show, but we make sure that we keep the high standard that the director of the show <laughs> created at the beginning. So acrobatically, sound, music, makeup, costumes, set, designs, all of that. I have to make sure that it's at its top quality every night so every night everybody comes they have a very very good good show. We're a well-oiled machine you know Corteo started in 2005 in the big top and of course there's a whole big creation uh, phase where we, it took about two years I think to build Corteo but that's really from the seed you know when they're deciding what is it about you know and then they talk about costumes and makeup and everything and what's it going to look like and then of course as you probably don't see it here but it's two-sided that was an idea that came up Daniele who's the director wanted to have the feeling of a proscenium arch a theater so it's like a theater in the round and the audiences are on both sides so it makes it more intimate so you feel like you're closer to, to the artists a show of hope and love. It touches you. It talks, all the artists are very human. They reach out, each person has their own personality. We even call them by their own names. So you as an audience member get to know these people very well. <laughs>